this is the era where government and policy makers realize that mere reading, writing and arithmetic is not sufficient and one has to go beyond that. Thus, the concept of functional literacy was emerged during 1960s. Let us see the learning objectives of this module. The first objective includes analyze the impact of national policy and education and identify the objectives of national literacy mission. Before going into the details of what is functional literacy, let us see the background of functional literacy, how this functional literacy concept has come at the world level and what impact it had on particularly adult education in India. A number of meetings and conferences were held at the global level as well as at the national level. It had influence on the concept of adult education in India. The first world conference was held by UNESCO in Denmark in the year 1949. It mainly focused on the role of adult education especially in the development of society, polity and economy. The second world conference on adult education was held in Canada in the year 1960. It has emphasized on the linkage of adult education and productivity, how it affects the work and overall development of the nation. The third world conference on education ministers on eradication of illiteracy which was held in Tehran in the year 1965. It emphasized on the linkage of adult education and productivity, work and development. The main focus of this conference was on functional literacy. All these conferences and various meetings held at the global level as well as within the country had a great impact on adult education program in India and thus the concept of functional literacy came into practice. Let us see the concept of functional literacy. William Gray he defined functional literacy in the year 1956. According to him, functional literacy means a person is functionally literate when he has acquired the knowledge and skills in reading and writing, which enable him to engage in all those activities in which literacy is normally assumed in his culture or group. The definition given by Mr. William Gray was accepted all over the world. Definitely it had an influence on Indian adult education also. Let us see in India how the functional literacy was defined. The functional literacy was defined as literacy integrated with the occupation of the learners which is directly related to development. In India, the program on functional literacy was implemented which is popularly known as Farmers Functional Literacy Program. The objectives of this program include to enable the farmers to read and understand labels on fertilizer bags, fill up loan application forms, input cards, keep simple accounts of operations, read and make use of simple extension bulletins, rural newspapers, etc. Initially, the program was implemented in selected states of India. The implementation strategy included making a group of farmers who are interested in joining this literacy program. These farmers were collected, they were given a training and the focus was on functional literacy. It started in 1968 to 78, 10 years duration was there. As stated earlier, the target group was farmers. It was decided to link production that is particularly agricultural production with the literacy. That's why the objective of this program was increase the agricultural production. In this program, three components were stressed. Firstly, training of farmers for increasing the agricultural production. Then second was functional literacy and third very important was farm broadcasting. In this program, 
radios were used extensively various programs were broadcasted through the radio the farmers functional literacy program focused on three main components first was training of farmers that training was included basically agricultural production how to increase the ag agricultural production what type of seeds to be used what type of fertilizers to be used to increase the yield all these factors were included in the farmers training second part was functional literacy which was again related to reading writing and arithmetic and third part was on farm broadcasting radios played a vital role in this program various programs were broadcasted through all india radio which was which were listened by these farmers and then afterwards various places discussions were conducted the third component was farm broadcasting where radio was used extensively the major role played by radio is another characteristics of this program various programs related to agricultural production were broadcasted through radio programs these radios were listened by these ag agricultural people especially those farmers who were trained and then afterwards discussions were held for implementation of farmers functional literacy program center based approach was used where one instructor used to teach 30 learners these learners were basically farmers who were interested in learning functional literacy the duration of this program was one year this one year was divided into two phases of 6 months each each phase had 150 hours of actual teaching in the first phase basically the farmers were taught about various types of seeds its utilization how to use various fertilizers what type of climate is needed for the growth of these agricultural products all these issues especially related to agriculture farming were emphasized in the first phase along with this of course literacy component was also included because the farmers has to read the titles written on the fertilizer bags they have to buy various varieties of seeds for that also they need to read that's why functional literacy component was stressed in this program special learning material was prepared the focus was on problem solving method various lessons which were focused on issues related to the farming were included in the lessons after teaching these lessons the instructor used to conduct discussion and actual problems faced by the farmers were discussed for this preparation of the primer they took the help of directorate of adult education new delhi the special primer prepared was titled as kisan sakshatra paheli pustak along with that a special guide book for teachers was also prepared so that the teacher will come to know how to teach each lesson how to begin the introduction of the lesson then at the end of the lesson how to conclude so all these guidelines were included in the guide book this became very easy for the instructors to conduct the classes the implementation also included organization of various activities such as charcha mandal which is commonly known as discussion groups farmers used to come at various places and they used to discuss issues related to their farming they used to exchange their ideas what type of problems they faced how they overcome in case if they have not overcome what should be done all these issues were discussed in this discussion groups periodic field demonstrations were also done by the experts in agriculture daily half an hour special program for farmers were was broadcasted by all india radio this helped to address the issues 
faced by the actual farming and many of these lectures help the farmers to overcome their problems with the success of farmers functional literacy simultaneously a special program was designed to impart functional literacy for adult women it was started in 1970 to start this program government has decided integrated child development service that is icds program can be used for this program thus the anganwadi workers who are the in charge of these icds programs they were given the responsibility of teaching illiterate women in their area these anganwadi workers worked as a instructor and they used to get an additional honorarium of 50 rupees per month selection of this anganwadi workers was done with a special intention because these anganwadi workers were always in contact with these women these women illiterate and literate both used to come to the anganwadi for sending their child in the anganwadi these anganwadi workers have good rapport with all the women it became very easy for these anganwadi workers to motivate the illiterate women and conduct the classes the functional literacy for adult women aimed at imparting functional literacy to women to accelerate their participation in development program it was realized that women were lagging in development process to encourage their participation government has decided to impart literacy to these women so that they can contribute fruitfully to the development process this program has focused on various issues along with the literacy especially the content of the curriculum included health and hygiene food and nutrition child care civic and vocational education in early 1970s which was era of paulo freire paulo freire's philosophy of conscientization came into existence all over the world this concept was accepted it had great influence on various fields including adult education as all of you know that paulo freire has emphasized on critical thinking and that critical thinking should bring change in other words after critical thinking people have to take action so that it will lead to change change in their day to day life change in the community change in the whole society and hence it it has a very great influence on adult education in india as well paulo freire believed in active participation of learners in learning process he thought and he was of the opinion that the instructor or the teacher who is teaching the adults they should be an instrument whereas the learner should take initiative and learn and thus it became a learner centric process let us see the concept of developmental literacy in india when we accepted the functional literacy program again it had a paulo freire's influence here in the program it was decided that the role of instructor was not only teaching but as an instrument to carry the discussion in other words learners can learn on their own learners can go with their pace as per individual pace the learners can learn and bring the change in their lives it emphasized beyond 3 hours that is reading writing and arithmetic actually it contributed to the liberation and full development of the human being in other words it focused on various awareness about social realities why people are poor what is the reason behind lagging behind in the development process all these issues were discussed all these issues were included into 
developmental literacy. Let us see in detail the National Adult Education Program which was implemented in India. It was announced on 2nd October 1978. The actual implementation of this program took place in 1979. This was the first program which was implemented by the government of India at the national level. The objectives of this program included literacy, awareness and functionality. It was realized that mere literacy is not useful in the development process. One has to go beyond three hours and hence these two components were included. When we say awareness, awareness was about all the social issues including economic as well as political issues. Then functionality, how the literacy can be used into their day to day life, they can improve their current status. For implementation of national adult education program, center based approach was used. One instructor used to teach 30 learners. The main focus was on adult illiterates in the age group of 15 to 35 years. Why this age group was selected? Because this is a productive age group. That is why this age group was selected. Initially, the program was for two years. For first year, basic literacy was imparted and for second year, follow-up program was conducted. The basic literacy program included 300 to 500 hours of teaching. Specially, primers were designed for this program. In some states like Maharashtra, the teaching learning material prepared for men and women were different. The teaching learning material prepared for men mainly focused on various occasions and other things whereas for women various issues were included including health, hygiene, child care all these issues were included in the primer. Along with literacy awareness components such as information on health, family life and vocational education was also included. The post literacy program included 150 hours in the initial phase and then again 100 hours in the latter phase. In this phase, reinforcement of literacy was done. Whatever was taught in basic literacy that has to be sustained and because of that post literacy program came into existence. A large number of poor illiterate school dropouts attended this program. It is interesting to know who were the implementing agencies. As stated earlier, this was the first time where the adult education program was implemented at the national level. Thus, in each state, separate department of adult education were established. The responsibility of establishing these departments was taken by the states. In addition to that, Universities and colleges were also involved. All the universities, they also established the Department of Adult and Continuing Education. Through its affiliated and conducted colleges, they implemented this adult education program. In addition to universities and colleges, voluntary organizations also came forward to implement these programs. Another feature of this program was Nehru Ego Kendras were also involved in implementation of NAP program. Thus, students and non-student youth participated as an instructor. They used to teach adult illiterates in their vicinity. Adult education classes were held either in the night or during the afternoon. For this purpose, separate teaching learning material was prepared. For example, in Mumbai, Bombay City Social Education took the responsibility of preparation of teaching learning material for the adult education centers which were implemented in Mumbai City. Like this, various other organizations also produced teaching learning material. During this period, national policy on adult education was declared by Government of India. It mentions 
that adult education would become a means for reducing economic, social and gender disparity. This was also followed by implementation of program of action. The program of action which was came in action in 1992 states that emphasis in adult education program should be on skill development and creation of awareness among the learners of the national goals of development programs and for liberation from oppression. This has a great impact on implementation of the adult education program in the country. We have seen that in the national adult education program, even though the emphasis was on functional literacy, mainly the program implementation took place in the area of literacy only, that is only reading, writing and arithmetic skills were covered. There was a great impact of national policy on education and program of action on the adult education program. National Literacy Mission was established in May 1988. It aimed to impart functional literacy to 80 million illiterates in the age group of 15 to 35 years by the end of 1995. Here in this program, the concept of functional literacy was broadened. It was realized that we should not concentrate only on three hours, but one has to go beyond that and achieve self-reliance in all the aspects. To achieve this aim, Government of India and National Literacy Mission set many objectives. A few important objectives include achieve self-reliance in three hours that is reading, writing and arithmetics. The second objective was becoming aware of the causes of one's deprivation and moving towards amelioration of conditions through organization and participation in the process of development. It focused on to think why the current status of poverty is there, how to overcome these poverty causes. The third objective included acquiring skills to improve the economic status of general well-being. One can see that here in the functional literacy along with literacy component, focus was also to give vocational education. It was decided that along with literacy, if the person, illiterate person gets some vocational skills, definitely his income might increase which will improve his status of life. The last objective was imbibing the values of national integration, conservation of the environment, women's equality, observance of small family norms, etc. So along with literacy, the focus was overall development of the human being as well as development of the community which will lead development of the nation. In National Literacy Mission, the definition and the concept of adult education changed from functional literacy to the developmental literacy. Here the literacy was defined as all round development of human beings and the nation. Thus, it covers all the aspects of human life. While implementing national literacy mission programs, two approaches were selected. One was implementation of total literacy campaign, which was followed by post literacy program. In developmental literacy, various issues were covered so that the people who are attending the course, who are attending the program will be empowered. The empowerment definition also included how to improve the quality of life, maybe in the form of achieving various vocational skills, maybe in the form of improving health aspects, maybe in the form of improving health and hygiene or political empowerment. The second factor was included that was helps to ensure the participation of masses in sharing the benefits of the information area. All of us we know that information 
explosion is taking place in all the areas. Globalization has affected all walks of our life and thus how to use this globalization, how to use this information into day to day life was also included into literacy program. The third part of this literacy that is developmental literacy includes it wants to help the person to learn reading and writing to gain general knowledge. The general knowledge may be how to open an account in the bank, how to operate the bank accounts or maybe one can go beyond that and how to improve the educational status of their own as well as their children. All these aspects were included into developmental literacy. Developmental literacy also included how to improve and increase the productivity. Suppose a person who is a carpenter, he knows how to build or how to prepare a table. It might be from a traditional point of view, the person might be preparing the table. But now in modern era, various types of tables are there in the market. So one can upgrade the skills after attending these courses after attending the classes and increase their productivity. Same thing will be applicable to the farmers. So definitely one can increase and improve their productivity. Another very important aspect of developmental literacy was increase in the participation of civic life. For example, the per people who are even though literate or illiterate or maybe semi-literate, they can participate in local Panchayat Raj institutions where they can stand for elections, get elected as a member of local Panchayat, maybe act as a Sarpanch who is the head of that local self-governing body. So these are the aspects where people's participation can be increased which can contribute towards the democracy. The third important aspect of developmental literacy also includes better understanding of the surrounding world which ultimately helps to improve the quality of life. This also includes importance of water, how to save water, one can go further and can see the how to stop atrocities, how to reduce violence against women or how to stop female infanticide to improve the quality of life. So various aspects are included into developmental literacy which directly affects the personal level as well as at the national level. To achieve the objectives of national literacy mission and impart functional literacy to the illiterate people, various programs were implemented. The main program implemented by NLM was Total Literacy Campaign. Districts were the units of this program. Each district was supposed to send a proposal to National Literacy Mission through State Literacy Mission, where according to the number of illiterates in that particular district, budget was sanctioned. At the district level, five to six committees were formed. Usually at the district level, collector was the chairperson of this program and under collector various committees were formed which included training committee, material development and distribution committee, survey committee, environment building committee and finance committee. Each committee worked on various aspects to create a conducive environment for the literacy program at the village level. Various programs were implemented, mostly the focus was on Kalajatha, folk dances and folk forms so that people will come and enroll themselves in literacy program. The program implementation strategy was also totally different. The person who was teaching adults was called a volunteer teacher, in short we call him or her as a VT. She used to teach maximum up to 10 learners. The learners used to be residing in their vicinity. Sometimes the instructor also taught to their relatives including their parents. Lot of motivational activities were planned and program was implemented. 
special teaching learning material was prepared by state resource centers each state in india has state resource centers who are responsible for training and distribution of material the material prepared for this program especially for total literacy campaign was based on ipcl that is improved pace and content of learning this is a very unique Uh, method or you can call it as a unique form where each learner can learn at his or her own pace for example there were three parts in the primer we call primer for a basic teaching learning material each part was divided into 10 lessons after three lessons there was a unit test after the completion of three lessons the learner used to give this unit test so that the fear of examination was reduced and another important uh, part of this program is if the learner has not learned the content whatever given into the first three lessons if that has not been achieved he or she can again refer back so the volunteer teacher will come to know whether the learner has learned all the alphabets all the messages given to him then only the person can proceed for next lesson so here functionality component was also given more importance the style of lessons was also totally different the lessons were directly related to the learner's life for example the first lesson may be based on the home the picture of home and the learner will discuss only on the picture because even though these people are illiterate they can see what is there in the picture first the discussion will be conducted which was followed by words written under the lesson and then again discussion will take place so in the total literacy campaign emphasis was given on various aspects but the teaching learning methodology was totally different first a meaningful sentence was taught which was followed by division of various words given into that sentence and then from there they used to come back to the alphabetical alphabets so meaningful sentence first followed by meaningful words and then separation of alphabets from that word so this made learning very interesting because learners they are adults about the age of 15 years they know the meaning of full sentence they know the meaning of word so that coming from known part to unknown part was very easy and that's why the learning process became very easy so in a nutshell we have seen what is functional literacy and what is developmental literacy even though in earlier program that is national adult education program naep focus and objective included functional literacy but the functionality component was not covered but when we see national literacy mission program more focus was on functionality whatever was taught in the literacy classes they were directly related to the learners life and they used to implement at least certain part in their day to day life so we have moved from functional literacy to the developmental literacy thank you